Out of the gun on first and ten. They fake it and dump it off to Shewo Olana Lua. One of the many playmakers on this. Second down and five. Robinson goes outside to one of those dynamic playmakers and Jalen Rager has a first down to the 45. Her high seven catches a week ago has his first one today. They get it in the hands of Turpin. Got a block from Jerison Stewart to get nine. Another fake and another throw. It's Rager for a first down. Quickly to the 36 yard line. Recusions for Robinson. We'll swing this one to the freshman Tay Barber. Now Barber with a solid first down pickup. Gary Johnson over at the 25 yard line. And the first carry for Darius Anderson is blown up by Gary Johnson, who's off to it on the NFL. He's done a heck of a job. Robinson snaps it quickly off his back foot, drops it in, but Jerison Stewart can't pull it in for the cover. On third down and 11, Robinson facing pressure. He throws a strike, but it's dropped by Turpin. After the kickoff out of bounds, Robinson carries this one. Accelerates to the hole for a gain. Of Listings in their program where he's not that size. He's big. Facing pressure out of the secondary, beating it over the top with Rager. First down and goal for the Horn Frogs on a 50. The double move, and it's set up by design. Watches a little stutter and a little slant and go, and it gets Chris Boyd. He's an overly aggressive cornerback. You better believe Sonny Cumbie and his staff had this. Alana Lua, Anthony Wheeler, there along with Johnson. The six instead. Robinson floating it for Rager, who's got all kinds of room, but a recovery from Boyd. And this is a missed opportunity, just a poorly thrown football. Rager had a step. All you've got to do is put it to that back pylon. 7-6, your early stages of the second quarter. Sean Robinson steps up, zips one incomplete, and buried into the dirt as he got. Second and 10, they run it into a corner blitz. Devontae Davis coming off of the edge to help shut it down. See last week, part of what helped them turn it around. They bring pressure. Robinson off his back foot with a miscommunication with against or with Turpin on first down from the 25. Quickly outside to Jalen Austin. Devontae Davis stymies him. He lost the ball down in six. Robinson with a straight drop this time. Has one on one. Lofting it downfield. Perfectly thrown but dropped. About that play was phenomenal. It was a perfect ball. A good release by Rager to get a step. And, and you couldn't put this anywhere else, but it's the late hands again by Boyd to disrupt the completion. Yeah, look at that right hand. On third and six, pressure picked up. Robinson, eyes downfield, needs the 35, extends the ball. We'll see where they spot him. Close to 200 yards in the first half last week. Turpin with a double pass. Out in front of Rager and picked off. Caden Stearns, the... Fake to Anderson. Jerison Stewart has room and has a first down. Senior out of Mesquite, Texas, coming on Rager. It was an illusion initially. They bring an extra man. He got rid of it incomplete. Brand like that we're not going to be able to move the ball efficiently. It's going to be more bigger shots downfield and big plays. Alana Lua trying to outrun the defense, getting four. And that's what. Here at second and 14, Robinson to run, set up his blocks well, cut it against the grain, and sets up a manageable third and three. Option play, Robinson, they took the decision out of his hands. He took advantage, first down inside the 20. As Robinson gets first down from the 17, here's Rager. He juggled and caught it and stumbled and got six. They'll throw it. In zone, Rager for the TCU touchdown. Just one on one, and he's going to run a little fade route. Watch as he kind of works to the outside. This is a perfectly thrown ball by Sean Robinson. And see how Rager gets his hand on Boyd to create the set. Ball from DeSoto High School here in Texas with a straight drop on first down. He pumps short and goes long, wanting Turpin in double coverage. Cavante Turpin adjusted and caught for the big game. Pump short again, looking downfield and an interception. Brandon Jones gift wrapped right into the numbers from Sean. Option on second and six. Got rid of it to Anderson. Third and short as he gets three more, and Chris Nelson runs him. 
And again with a loaded box, they'll throw it. Pump short, double move, works again. First down as Turpin hangs on despite the second head area. Second and four, back to Alanalua. Bounce into the outside and ridden down by Chris Boyd. Six through at the top of the screen. Robinson runs and loses the yard into the short side. We're now Robinson throws an interception. Second of the day for Caden Stearns. He will take this one inside the five. Robinson quickly outside to Jalen Rager. P.J. Locks all over him. On third down, he looks short side, throwing the screen. Barber crunched short. Gerald Wilbot, two to snap it. Just got it off. Alana Lua gets the first down. Oh, it's a precarious setup. Robinson dumps it off. Anderson steps out of a tackle. And he gets inside the 25. Texas bringing pressure. Robinson floating it up there. Rager can't get it. Drip by Boyd. You to keep using the sluggo or the slant and go. And this time Chris Boyd wasn't fooled. See? A little more cushion. He's like, I've seen this before. Not a very good football. Texas bringing it. Picked up. Robinson throws and it's broken up by David. Robinson facing pressure, looking for the knockout blow right away with that Texas defense. Misfires for Rager. Sophomore transfer from Penn comes in and quickly throws it outside. It's dropped by Rager. They said that it was a backwards pass. Pressure again. On third down, Collins steps up. He will run. And as he's sliding, gets hit by Johnson. For the Horn Frogs. With a minute 27, pressure coming off of the edge. Collins steps up and throws incomplete. Collins throws it off of the hands. Collins throws on the move, and he's got a first down. With a minute 11 to go, and it is Rager. For him, something more to happen to Sean Robinson. I can stop. Look out. Got rid of it just in time. And Alana Lua gets a few yards. You know, that's where you're almost better off just throwing incomplete. Third and six. Collins moving his feet. Floating one downfield. That is going to be pass interference. Stravante. Texas bringing pressure again. Collins. Heights was wide open, but Collins got hit as he 